Whenever I'd find myself in the city, I would always search for little traces of nature, like trees, little plants coming out of concrete, birds, water, or different sounds of nature. The same thing happened when I came to Faro, a city in the south of Portugal. Yeah, it was nice to live in another country and I was grateful for that, but it was just the wrong place. A place that lacked greenery, that lacked nature, a place where my heart wasn't really happy. So I decided to take my life in my own hands, face discomforts once again, and go somewhere where it feels right to my heart. Right now, I'm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, alone on some kind of hill, surrounded by greenery. It's, what, 7 a.m. I'm watching the sunrise, hearing the birds, the ocean. The ocean is behind me, and it's endless. And I feel so grateful for my life right now. I'm on the island of Sao Miguel. It's one of the Azores Islands. Uh, I'll call them Azores from now on because that's how Portuguese people call them. But I came here on Workaway. If you don't know what it is, it's a volunteering site where you apply and you work for your host for like four to five hours a day and the rest you have free and you have a place to stay. And, you know, working for my host just feels right. You know, this kind of lifestyle. We are renovating the house, doing everything by ourselves. Houses in the middle of, like, nowhere. Everything is green around the house. It's in unity with nature, the life in unity with nature. And it just feels right. I feel at peace. I know that this is the kind of lifestyle that I want. I want to live like that one day. And in the city, I can never find that feeling. It never comes. But here, that's it. I think that's the way to live life. At least for me. <laughs> I'm happy. Really happy. And I have, like, so much inspiration. The moment I came, out of a sudden, so much inspiration in the city. I was struggling, I was trying to make something, to create something, but I couldn't do anything. And here, it just calms and calms so naturally. It makes me happy. I'm in a good mood. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I could cry out of happiness now. <sighs> Although the first days were rainy, that didn't really bother me. Every day I would explore the area around and I felt so much happiness and gratitude for my life. And I was really thankful to myself that I made a decision to come here. Good morning, it's 6.30 a.m. and today I'm going on a little trip or hike. I wanted to wake up at 5 and start while it's still dark, but there is just a little problem because yesterday I went to buy groceries and I ended up hiking. Uh, the same hill I hiked that morning, so I went to the same hill twice yesterday and my legs are so tired and I was so tired so yeah I'm a little bit late and I'll have to hurry up straight cruising headed 
Watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. So three hours later, came to the hot springs and, you know, there's actually a bus that goes every single day to this place at 6.40 a.m. from the place I'm located at. But since it's Saturday, during the weekends, that bus doesn't exist and, and the earliest bus is at 11 a.m. and that's too late for me, so I decided to walk three hours. A uh, bus is like 25 minutes. But yeah, now I'm finally here. The plan is to explore the area around. There is a lake and also the mountains, the hills. Mm, so I think, yeah, I'll do that. I hope I'll have enough time. I'm going back by bus. The bus is at 4.30 p.m. So I need to catch that bus. But now I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my oatmeal. Mm -hmm. mm. I found this road that has no marks, but I found it on some kind of app with hiking trails. I got lost a little bit and I'm running because the bus is at 16.30. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but the road has fresh human traces, so it means that you can go this way. So let's go quickly. <gasps> At the top it's mm, one o'clock one o'clock and that was kind of hard because it was really hmm, I don't know the word but it's like this now I'm at the top there are the cows over there and the view is really beautiful but I have to admit I'm stressing all the time because I'm always worrying about the time and if I'm gonna make it uh, to the bus because I don't want to walk three hours back <laughs> home so yeah I kind of don't have time to stop and fully take everything in because I'm constantly stressing uh, about the time so there is a path that is on the map and it exists but it says it's forbidden and <laughs> I wanted to take that way to the bus because I don't want to go down the same way. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe take a risk, go to the forbidden path. But it's a nice path. I don't know. It says that it's just allowed for people who live or work here. I don't know, but I want to 
Mm. I want to go that way. And also maybe the rain is coming. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, after a little bit of thinking and calculating time, I decided to go the forbidden path. Maybe it's forbidden just for the cars. Yes. What are they people? What are they? Okay, let me tell you the rest of the story. I hope you can hear me. I'm at the beach, back at the place I'm staying at, Povsao. And so, where did I leave you? Okay, so I went down to the lake and when I was at the lake I went to the reception and I asked if uh, there was a little bus station on the lake and I just asked if the bus stops at that station or do I have to walk to the main station there in town. And they were like, oh, but the bus doesn't drive during the weekends. And I was like, okay, but I'm, I'm sure it does because I checked everything. And I was right, but okay, I walked to the town and I was waiting for the bus. And there are two bus stations. Okay, I was on the main one, and I checked the table, and it said, like, Posao, 16.30. And I'm waiting for the bus, waiting for the bus, and I realized, like, there is another station, like, one minute away from this one. And I realized, okay, maybe bus stops at that one. And I start walking to that station, and that station is, like, one minute away from this one. And I saw the bus passing and I was like, fuck, my bus is gone. That's the only bus today. And my phone was almost dead. And I, like, I just accepted the situation and I was like, okay, I'll have to walk three more hours back home. And I thought I have no energy left. But you know, when I started walking, I realized I had so much more energy. You know, I pushed through the limits. And when you think you're dead, when you're done and that you can't go anymore, and then you push through the limits, you realize how powerful you are and how much energy actually you have. And okay, I was walking and I was like, enough filming, basta, it's enough. I have to go back home. And I was thinking about life and it was really nice because I had time to stop and really observe everything because I wasn't thinking about filming, I wasn't thinking if I'm gonna be on time and, or anything like that. I was thinking about my life and decisions I want to make and I had a really good time with myself, just talking to myself the whole way and I was really happy. I felt happy with my life and the place I'm at in my life. I'm happy that I'm building my life the way it is right now. And I was really grateful. And I was walking like that one hour back uh, at the hill. And then one car stopped. And I, was, I thought maybe someone would, would stop. And I was thinking, should I go in the car if someone stops or not? And then a car actually stopped and he asked me oh do you need a ride and I was like okay yeah because I saw the guy and I 
had a really good feeling about him, you know. And I went into the car and we had such a good conversation. It was like 10 minutes to the 10 minutes with a car, but <laughs> I would have to walk like one and a half hour more. And wow. And we had such a great conversation. We had a really good time. And I'm really happy that I accepted the ride. I'm really happy about this day. And at the end of the day, I feel happy. And I think that's the more important thing in life. That at the end of the day, you have a feeling that this day was worth living. That this day was full. And you feel happy. So yeah, I'm really happy about the hike and everything. Learned a lot, proved myself a lot, and I'm happy about the way my life is going. Really happy, really, really happy. Like, what the fuck? I, I, I'm in the middle of Atlantic Ocean alone, going on adventures and I'm the one who made it that way. Like, nobody else did this for me. I did it and I'm happy. Really happy. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day. Oh, yeah. And I still have so much energy. Like, what is going on? I walked 11 hours with just one and a half pounds. Pause, pause, pause for breakfast and lunch and the stretch after the hike. One and a half hour pause, but everything was 11 hours. And I still have energy. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Today is the first proper sunny day, it was raining for so long and I came to this hill barefoot and feeling the grass with my bare feet and it feels so nice. That reminds me of summer and of home and it's just a beautiful day and beautiful life. And the ocean behind me, it just feels so magical it reminds me of home and today is actually the first day that i can actually see the land there there's another island ah, the life is good the life is good ah. hand in hand building castles out of sand reaching for the ground The weather on this island is so weird. Like when I left the house, it was sunny. And now literally 50 minutes later, it's foggy and rainy and moody. It's so weird. It's always changing. But yeah, my time here so far has been so amazing. Like I feel inspired by everything. People I'm living with are amazing and everything inspires me like nature. I'm surrounded by nature all the time. I'm inspired by building projects. Yeah, they inspire me so much and they gave me so many new ideas. And if I make connection with my previous video, this trip here, really expanded expanded my comfort zone which makes me so happy because you know i feel free like i feel like some boundaries are 
gone. Some mental barriers are gone. And also I think that this time I spent alone in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean had a really great impact on me because I had a lot of time to think and be with myself and some things that were unclear before just got clearer but by spending time here got clearer by themselves and I'm learning a lot about myself and proving myself a lot of things and just growing yeah that's the right word I'm growing here I think we need to spend some time away from the known and away from all the people we know, from the places we know. Just disappear a little bit and go spend time with ourselves. The time here proved me that. So, this is the end of this video. Um, this is the part one of my Azores trip. I'm also going to make the part two and I'm really excited about it, going on some adventures. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. It really means a lot. And if you like it, you can give it a little thumbs up. That also helps and I would appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to see you hopefully in the next video. Bye bye. Why are the outros always so awkward? Oh. <laughs> bye.